My dad loved being here and just loved the community. He was a coach first and then he became employed. Um, he used to work in the equipment room and then he became security. Um, and all the time, the whole time coaching, started football, uh, basketball, paddling, and he did, he did boys and girls basketball. The first time we coached, it was the very first year Iolani had any girls team. And so the two of us put together this uh, intermediate girls basketball team where we decided it was the first year of the program, we'll cut nobody. So we literally had 27 girls uh, on our team with only 15 uniforms. So we had to take turns for who was gonna suit up in a game. When you meet him, you know, he's, he's a, I, I hate to say gentle giant, but he just ha exuded this compassion and gentleness and this desire to have fun. When you're putting together a team and you're trying to say, what kind of culture are we gonna try and create on this team? You know, there are gonna be coaches who are very technical and very, you know, specific about how you should dribble or how you should shoot or where you should run on the court or everything. And there are others who are gonna say, this is how you should take care of each other and this is how you should um, live your life so that you have success on a court and all that kind of stuff. And that was Bernie. For him, the most important thing was really what are the core values uh, that make you a good human being? He would always like calmly explain things. He was very patient. Um, I don't think I've ever seen him get mad, honestly. My recollection of him was always like feeding us constantly. I don't know why he would always like make sure we had food. So um, that's like my association with Coach Chang is always trying to take care of us in that way. And he would like take us surfing and he would take us on the canoes. He was a beach boy in Waikiki. So that was really fun. That was a great experience for us. Coach Chang was legendary. My dad would say, oh, you know, your coach sang, he backed up Elvis. And I said, what? <laughs> Elvis, the singer? And, and my dad said, yeah. And, I, you know, and that's when we, we got a hold of his album. And then when we went to the beach, my dad would say, oh yeah, you know, him and his brother, Sammy Steamboat, they were, they were part of the original concessionaires for Waikiki Beach. This was my dad's life. He found his home here and made it his home. Towards the end of his life, uh, my, my family and I wanted him to retire. Come on, Dad, you're getting old. Like, we just want you to relax and not worry. He wouldn't hear of it. He enjoyed coming here. It kept him motivated. Um, he, he loved seeing the students, right, because he would sit in auto line. He loved greeting the families. Um, but the best thing for us is we eventually realized he was better off here, being taken care of by the Iolani community. All the teachers, um, staff that would look after him, take him food, um, just help him out. He was safer here than he was at home by himself. I, I wanna say to his family, thank you. Just thank you for sharing him. I mean, he, he gave to us as much as you know, a non-parent could give and you know, it made a lasting impression, so thank you. He just wanted to help kids learn the sport, but more so learn about life. And, and he was dedicated to that. We could never repay the kindness that you showed us as kids. Bernie was a, was a friend. Um, he was a, a role model about how to do things the right way. It was an honor to um, be by his side for all of those years.